do I get a sign like that? Because I miss it. Because I'm going to tell you about a very famous person who allegedly came from Bristol. The alleged Mr. Binksy himself. So this is one of his more first paintings, but also more famous because it's still in the wild. This is the girl with the pearl earring. And you see the earring is an ADT security monitor. Why is the earring an ADT security monitor, you may ask? It's a very fantastic question. Well, Bristol is said to be one of the most dangerous cities in the UK. Does it look like that so far? I'll let you decide as we go explore more around this city and appreciate the art and the people and whatever else we find in here. This bird has flown away with some table condiment and he keeps just like flying across the different areas. Fly, fly with your dish. Go wash it. Good job. Now go wash it. Don't leave it on the floor. <laughs> There's art everywhere, you guys. Caves. I wonder if the port is abierto. Oh, Puerto Cerrado. So in this cave that we see next to the harbor over here, so that is where the slaves were kept before they were loaded onto the ship. See, in this city, there was over 200 slave traders. Bristol was like the core of slave trading. I think I'm in the wrong place. It was the core of slave trading for slaves to go from here into North America. And so there was a bunch of stuff like this. Today, these things are used for the parkades. So we park cars there now, which is where we should put in underground, closed, dark places. Not people! What were people thinking? Looney picks. So compared to Cardiff, this place is so chill, like just for being so close to it. I don't want to compare cities to each other, but like the energy here is way more easy to understand. Um, in a lot of ways, I feel like if you make Macedonia and what else? Amsterdam, that's what you get here. It's a pretty cool vibe. Welcome to one of Great Britain's biggest tourist attractions and coolest things in history ever. This is a ship on land. And no, it's not the ship on land that we're interested in. You can see behind us, there's this massive ship and it's decorated in gold and has flags all over it. And on the sides of these walls, there's all sorts of posters about the 1800s. Now why are these posters here about the 1800s and why is this ship randomly on land? They open on Mondays during school and bank holidays. Well maybe I have to come back. Whoa, check out my pores. Why is this ship here? Well, Mr. Sir Brunel built a bunch of stuff. So he built a bunch of trains to connect England during the Industrial Revolution. He also built a bunch of ships. So this is one of the ships that he's built. The SS Great Britain. Oh, there's a doggy. I think the doggy wants to be in the vlog. 
You want to be in the vlog? <laughs> Aww. You're a movie star now, aren't you? Okay. Aww. Hi. <laughs> She's so cute. This is pretty cool. Across from the party dock, we see this Matthew ship. Now, Matthew is not the actual ship, but this is a reconstruction of the ship that John Cabot sailed over into what we think today is Newfoundland. Now, John Cabot had, and that's why we see a Canadian flag up here, Canada. Now, John Cabot had a couple of expeditions to North America. The first one, that's where we think that he landed in Newfoundland and explored a little bit. The second one, I think he just stayed, met a nice lady or a nice man, and hung out with the locals because nothing more is known of him after that second trip. So that is why we actually don't have a ship today. We just have this reconstruction. But isn't that crazy, like, how small it is? And he went across the whole ocean in that tiny little boat. And I think that's why all these people are celebrating. Because John Cabot met a nice woman. Or man. Human. John Cabot met a nice Canadian. Okay, we're gonna record that again since I think that I failed to uh, plug in my microphone correctly. So it's not that it's a weak bridge, it's just that it was built like 200 years ago and it sways like I'm moving and it's probably safe. But I'm moving in the air, whoa. I'm jiggly bridge, jiggly bridge, jiggly buff. <laughs> Yeah, it's early in the morning, as you can see from probably the shadows on my face and that sort of stuff. On here, it's like pedestrians and cyclists are the most people on here, which I find super cool. The air, you can't smell this. It's so fresh in Bristol, you guys. So let's go continue to explore and see what else is here. This is a cute straight. Silver squid. Let's go look inside. Look inside, walk this way, you and me, bang bang. This is cute. Okay, so let's talk about these balloons and the Clifton Suspension Bridge that we were on. Like many things, where hot air rises and cold air sinks, it happens in gorges, like it did in Cappadocia. So, there are times of the year where there's hot air balloons that rise, and tourists pay money for it. So. Why not make a little money, go for a little float above a really cool bridge and see all sorts of cool stuff. Now check this out. All of these today are like concert halls and city halls. And this one is where there's a bunch of music that's played. 
But check this out. There's like a super old shield up here. Well, that's cool. A very large building. Everyone goes to Paris to try to see Notre Dame Cathedral due to its Gothic architecture. Why would you do that? We can, you can just come to Bristol and see something that's still put together and not burnt down. So this is the art museum. And today I believe it's not open. But I think if it were open, we still wouldn't go in. I think we're just gonna have some appreciation time. Appreciation time! Let's appreciate this too. Appreciation time! Appreciation time! So, why aren't we going into the art museum? A. I don't want to. B. It's probably closed. See, there's all sorts of stolen art there, and I'd rather see art that's not stolen because the city is full of it. So we're gonna go now explore some more art that's not stolen. Check this out. This is not stolen artwork. This is beautiful. So all this face building here, is right next to the first museum in Bristol, right here. Today it's now the Freemason place, which is probably why we see a store called the Illuminati. Secret Society, they do exist. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go to DMCA at some point. <laughs> So I think we're in front of some city buildings. And we're near the cathedral. So maybe they're attached to the church somewhere? This place is pretty cool. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm not used to that. Oh, that's my fork. Pro tip, always carry a fork because you never know when you're going to get hungry. And my sunglasses. Where'd I put them? Aha! Aha! Always have 17 pockets so you can forget where you put things. Okay. Woo! Okay, now let's check out this very beautiful building. Let's go this way. So I haven't seen people go this way yet. So I've avoided the cathedral, not because I don't want to go in, but I've seen so many churches. And look what I found. I found a tunnel, you guys. I wonder what it was used for. Is it abierto? No. Right out in the open. We see another on piece of stolen artwork. Let's appreciate how someone would think that. Right there. Let's stop there. Look at all this amazing art. Pretty cool. So the interesting thing about this one is that there's a security camera there. Many security cameras. We found more free art. 
Check this out. So you may know John Wesley for doing a lot of preaching and that sort of stuff. Well, one thing that I also want you to know about him is that he was a huge abolitionist for slavery. And because Bristol was a hub of that, he did so much stuff around here. So right here, we see where his first chapel stood. This is the oldest Methodist building in the world. Reached a new part of town, and the art has changed. And I like it. Do you think how some people are getting used to the flow? What have I become? A graffiti art analyst? Is it a thing? Make it a thing, internet. So it's like an old church, and it looks like a bunch of people living here. There's like a little carnival tent here, some carnival stuff over there, and all sorts of fairy lights. We have a porch as a beer What is that? Sparkly it is. Okay, this one's definitely fresh, because we can see it from last night. Looks so pretty. Good job, person, whoever did that. Thanks for the art. Yeah. How do I get a sign like that? Because I miss it. This building is cool. So on the top. We have an old Victorian building. In the middle, we have a mid-century, and on the bottom, we got some water light. <laughs> oh, you're fine. It's like every corner you turn around, there's something brand new to look at. Check this out. Isn't it pretty? Let's get a view without the car. So pretty. Watching my exploration in Bristol. Hope you liked it as much as I did. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned because who knows where we'll end up next. Tell me where I should go.